Hi everybody, it's Katrina. From temples that have been hidden under river sand for years to Arabian monuments from the Stone Age, here are nine incredible recent archaeological discoveries. Number 9. Oldest Known Work of Art if you thought the Lascaux cave paintings were the oldest works of art in the world, like most of us, then surprise! Scientists recently discovered a cave painting in Indonesia that's been dated back to approximately 44,000 years ago, which makes it the oldest known work of art on the planet. For years, most researchers believed that cave art began in Europe since we have found most of the extensive examples in France and Spain dating back around 37,000 years. But archaeologists working in Indonesia were suspicious. And now that they've dated their cave paintings, their suspicions have been confirmed. Found in a cave on the island of Sulawesi, Indonesia, it is helping to rewrite the history of the origins of art. Using an inventive scientific dating technique called uranium series analysis, scientists from Griffith University in Australia were able to date these Indonesian cave paintings back to over 40,000 years ago. Locals had known about the paintings for years, but no one really assumed that they were that old. Revealed in 2017, now the search is on to find even more of these paintings. One of the most impressive is a hunting scene that stretches about 16 feet long, depicting a scene of ancient peoples on a hunt. Tiny hunters with spears appear to be chasing after wild pigs and buffalo. Strangely, however, these hunters have certain animal-like characteristics, like a bird's head on one or a tail on another. These images might suggest that these early people had spiritual or religious beliefs and conceptually advanced thinking. Our understanding of human history is constantly changing, and as the archaeologists said, there could be some big changes in store. Number 8. Aztec Sacrifices Recently in 2019, archaeologists discovered sacred offerings on what was once an Aztec ritual platform. Their incredible find may finally lead to an Aztec emperor's tomb. So far, none have ever been uncovered. Off the steps of the Aztec's holiest temple, archaeologists found a large rectangular stone box in what would have been the center of a circular platform. They opened the mystery box with care and discovered a jaguar, ornately dressed as an Aztec warrior. Researchers found these new remains in the downtown area of Mexico City, which was once the location of the most revered temple in Aztec culture during the reign of the empire's most powerful ruler. Called the Templo Mayor, it was 15 stories high before it was razed to the ground in 1521, during the Spanish conquest. In addition to the jaguar dressed up like a warrior, they discovered the sacrificial remains of a child, dressed up as if he was the Aztec god of war. They also found some knives made out of flint which were adorned with elaborate jewels and stones, along with the remains of a flamingo-like bird and a number of shells and coral. Records say that Aztec rulers were cremated and the remains were placed with luxurious offerings and the hearts of sacrificed slaves. It is possible that an emperor may be in the box along with the jaguar, representing the king as a fearless warrior. The contents of the box were laid in their resting place by Aztec priests some 500 years ago. Reuters reported that since the find, the Mexican government has cut the project's budget and many of the archaeologists have not yet been paid. They are hoping to get back to work and to find the elusive remains of an emperor. Number 7. Temple from a Water Cult Researchers recently uncovered the remains of a temple from 3,000 years ago in Peru, which they think was used by a prehistoric cult of water for fertility ceremonies. This would place its construction square in the middle of the Stone Age. But interestingly, this discovery marks the first Stone Age temple discovery in the region. It was located in the Huaca el Toro archaeological site in Oyotun, Peru, nestled in between two rivers which are inside of the Zaña Valley, and it's the only one of its kind in the area. Even more interesting, perhaps, than the remoteness of this archaeological discovery is its intended purpose. Archaeologists think that this temple was the home of a prehistoric cult that worshipped water. That's why they constructed this space near the place where a new river comes into existence. The fact that it's placed in between these two rivers and the placement of tiny wells that could predict when it would rain indicate that water was essential to these people's way of life. The temple appears to have been made with big rocks which were transported from almost two miles away, where there was a nearby mountain. And although generations likely inhabited this space, it appears that people left there around 250 BC. However, the Chumi people later re-inhabited the site and used it as an area for tombs. However, they did find one tomb from the original inhabitant who was buried with a ceremonial ceramic container. Number 6. Emperor Nero's Sphinx Room 
In 2018, conservationists who were working on the restoration of Emperor Nero's palace in Rome found something completely unexpected, a secret underground chamber. Inside was a series of colorful animal frescoes, which depicted images of panthers, centaurs, and a sphinx. The palace, known as the Domus Aria, was built more than 1900 years ago following the fire of 64 AD that destroyed large swaths of Rome. It was Nero's pride and joy, but hasn't stood the test of time so well. Efforts are underway to regain some of its former glory, and this new discovery further shows how enamored with art the emperor was. It's been nicknamed the Sphinx Room by workers because of one of the standout images. But there are also murals of flowers, leaves, fruit, aquatic creatures, exotic birds, and the god Pan. Unfortunately, the room is buried by tons of earth, and disturbing it could jeopardize the foundations upon which the rest of the palace is built. It'll therefore take quite some time until the full extent of what's in there is known, but investigations began in early 2019 and may one day reveal more secrets about one of Rome's most infamous emperors, who is believed to have been responsible for starting the fire in Rome so he could rebuild the city, as well as murdering his mother, both of his wives, and eventually committing suicide at the age of 30. Number 5. Ancient Humans in Idaho in 2019, archaeologists uncovered the remnants of human activity from around 16,600 years ago, in Idaho no less. These discoveries shed new light on how humans must have traveled in prehistory, indicating where they went as they explored the Americas. They discovered these remnants at Cooper's Ferry, an archaeological digging site that's located around the Salmon River in Cottonwood, Idaho. The thoughts that these new artifacts provoke are certainly evocative. Via radiocarbon dating techniques, they've been dated back to a time when woolly mammoths and saber-toothed tigers roamed the icy expanses of North America. They uncovered a number of ancient artifacts, such as four tools which were intended to cut stone, bone fragments that belonged to horses, and evidence of a fire-building apparatus. And the dates on these new discoveries are the earliest evidence of human activity in the Americas. Given the age of humanity, this is a remarkable discovery. Archaeologists generally agree that humanity began some 300,000 years ago in the middle of Africa, and we then traveled the world far and wide setting up shop. No one is quite sure when humans came to the Americas, but the Cooper's Ferry findings lend credence to the theory that humans traveled the Pacific coast in order to reach America. There might even be a connection between the people at Cooper's Ferry and ancient human settlements in Asia. Scientists are working hard to piece together our ancient past. Number 4. Romulus's Tomb Archaeologists recently discovered a tomb from millennia ago that the ancient Romans thought of as the burial chamber of Romulus, the mythical founder of Rome. While most researchers and historians don't think that Romulus ever actually existed, it's clear that the tomb was revered as if it was his. As the legend goes, Romulus, along with Remus, his twin, were the sons of Rhea Silvia and the god of war himself, Mars. They were abandoned and then raised by a she-wolf. When they were older, they restored their grandfather to power and built a city in the area where they were abandoned. But Romulus and Remus didn't agree on the location, so Romulus, or perhaps his supporters, killed Remus and he became the first king of Rome. His tomb was discovered below the Roman Forum. Apparently, ancient Romans believed that this tomb contained Romulus's body, but the tomb itself was empty when archaeologists found it. Instead, the tomb was a kind of temple that contained an altar in Romulus's memory. The historian Marcus Terentius Varro even wrote about it. It's also near the supposed place where Romulus was killed by jealous politicians, so the placement of the time is highly symbolic. Hopefully over the coming months we get to find out more about this fascinating site. Number 3. The USS Nevada We all know that Navy ships are durable and hard to sink, but there may be one ship among all of the Navy's fleet that stood above the rest for decades. The USS Nevada made it through World War II, even though it was built in 1912. It made it through a number of other insane trials and tribulations as well, surviving nuclear and ammunition tests. The USS Nevada sailed through difficult sections of the ocean. It was hit at Pearl Harbor but made it back to fight through the war in 1943 and was going to be used even further before the war came to an end. Afterwards, it was used as a target for nuclear tests at Bikini Atoll. Surprisingly, it made it through. Finally, it was decommissioned and sunk in 1946 by an aerial torpedo. However, just a few months ago in 2020, a joint expedition run by Search Inc. and Ocean Infinity discovered the remains of the USS Nevada about three miles underwater, off the coast of Honolulu and near Pearl Harbor. 
The ship's husk shows signs of the shots and torpedoes that it experienced before it sunk, but remarkably, the outside of the ship still displayed its paint job and the number 36 could be seen at the head of the ship. The newly discovered wreckage serves as a monument to the USS Nevada's lasting power. Number 2. Megalithic Monument When you hear about the Neolithic Age, you probably think about the megalithic structures of Europe, which are pretty popular. But structures in Middle Eastern countries from the same period are less well known, even though they are equally impressive. In 2020, archaeologists added yet another one of these to the list. Deep inside Dumat al-Jandal, an ancient oasis which contains a number of ruins in Saudi Arabia, they discovered a large triangular platform in the middle of nowhere. No one is yet sure as to the nature of this strange platform, but researchers think that it was probably used to some sort of ritualistic end. Built in a few steps around the 6th millennium BC, megalithic peoples might have used the platform for funeral purposes or to celebrate key astrological events. They think this because they determined the ages of the human remains that they found near the platform as well as in the tombs they uncovered close by. These findings suggest that nomadic pastoralists might have made the platform. These people were early innovators with respect to agriculture and likely traveled far and wide according to the seasons. For a while, archaeologists thought that little groups of nomads couldn't have built big things like this, but that notion is slowly eroding. When they keep finding discoveries like this, it's hard to ignore that nomads might have been more capable of big projects than we previously thought. Number 1. Temple of Nageswara Swami Recently, villagers in a tiny Indian village unearthed a remarkable discovery, the remains of a well-preserved temple that had been lost to time since the 1850s. It was found in Perumalapadu, which is a village in the Nalore district of India. In about 1850 AD, the village was rendered unlivable because the nearby Pena River was rising and kept flooding the village. When everyone moved away, the sand dunes engulfed the temple whole. Elders told stories of a temple lost in the dunes, so people decided to go look for it. When the villagers got a bit of cabin fever due to the coronavirus lockdown, they opted to look for the temple which their elders had described to them. They were able to locate the brick temple which is dedicated to Lord Nageswara, better known to the English-speaking world as Lord Shiva. Researchers estimate that the temple was built some 300 years ago, along with two other nearby temples. Much of the temple complex remains buried. Local legend has it that the temple itself was consecrated by Lord Parasurama, who is one of the ten human incarnations of Lord Vishnu, the preserver and guardian of men who protects worldly order in the Hindu religion. To understand how important that is, note that Lord Krishna is also one of Lord Vishnu's human incarnations. There are still a lot of temples waiting to be unearthed in the region, so keep an eye out for future updates. Thanks for watching! What do you think is the most interesting recent discovery? Which one would you like to see? Let me know in the comments below! Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon! Bye!